So rotary power GR86 from Japan. We gotta take a look at this one. And before we even get deep into this video, do you guys notice anything strange about this car? I mean, besides the fact that it obviously has an engine that's not supposed to be there. I'm gonna give you five seconds with this picture. Just look really close. See if you find anything strange about this car. Anything? How about the fact that this GR86 isn't even a GR86 at all? This is a GT86. And if you don't believe me, I'm about to show you. Before I do that, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for 5K subscribers. That's crazy. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I've got a bunch of option magazines and Drift Tengoku magazines. So I'm gonna be giving away three to random commenters in this video so just leave a comment down below doesn't matter what it is favorite flavor pop tart thank you guys so much i can't wait for 10k we're gonna be giving away a lamborghini headlights the tail lights held the side skirts everything about this car is gr86 right the story behind this car is the owner had a gt86 chassis lying around but he really liked the look of the gr86 so he took a look at it saw some aftermarket parts and it's just like you know i think i can make this work <laughs> they removed all the body panels from a gt86 brought it down to a bare shell cut the pillars and then began fitting the body panels from the gr86 to the gt86 chassis absolutely insane this car was actually shown at auto salon here in tokyo this past year i think it was at the jp turbo booth so just like with sema in the united states crazy modifications like this whether you're swapping an engine that's not supposed to be in that car or cutting the car in half and making it look like a whole other car that's very common at these shows because it's great for marketing and it just gets people talking and this particular car was built by garage yamaguchi in Chiba and Chiba is a little part of Japan right outside of Tokyo a lot of people who work in Tokyo actually live in Chiba and they commute either via the train or through the Aqualine a crazy underwater highway system that goes underneath Tokyo Bay next Chiba to like downtown Tokyo area so yeah think of it as kind of like suburbs but it's more than just suburbs you know, Chiba people don't want to hear oh we're just the suburbs of Tokyo there's a lot of cool stuff in Chiba too as we're gonna see today and as you guys know I do live in Tokyo so I got a lot of interesting stuff going on around me whether it's restaurants just little shops yeah, all sorts of stuff so i like to add a little bit of that at the end of my videos so stick around to the end all right so back to this car so the owner of garage yamaguchi is actually a member of the drift team mccomans who you may have heard of before i don't know if they've ever been in like a noriaro video or something I, I wouldn't be surprised if they have been but regardless of that they're very well known and just like this rotary gt86 all of their cars are bright yellow and can often be seen driving at events at mobara twin circuit also in chiba and on the windshield of this gt86 you can actually see their logo pretty damn cool design i like it so let's get to it and talk about this 13b rotary engine and for those that don't know this is a mazda engine coming out of like an rx7 fc or fd it's a rotary engine which is different than a traditional piston engine so i'm not going to go into that though i'll just throw up a little chart on the screen showing you the difference and you guys can do some further research on your own if you don't know what that is yet study the charts learn it uh, it's very important but it's simply these engines rev high sound awesome and can take the power pretty well if they're built correctly now they are notorious for the somewhat annoying amount of maintenance you have to do to keep them alive but for those that love them they're worth it i mean just listen to this particular engine is currently pushing about 500 horsepower and has had work done to it by the famous RX-7 rotary shop RE Amemia. Also in Chiba. They make body kits that look like this. A lot of time attack stuff. Honestly, one of my favorite aero parts manufacturers ever. And here is the owner of RE Amemia actually sitting in this very GT86. I keep wanting to call it a GR86 at a recent rotary event here in japan and when asked if he's interested in the gt86 gr86 platform he was like nah not at all i'm an rx7 guy so that kind of hit me a little bit on the heart right there as i've always had a very secret and very stupid hope that one day rem Mia would switch from rx7s to the gt and gr86 platform as the rx7s become you know much more rare to get a hold of and less profitable for the aftermarket their body kits are just so damn cool and i feel like the styling from the rx7s 
would translate very well over to the body lines on the GT and GR86. Like I said, I understand it's an RX-7 workshop, so it's just a stupid wish, but hey, a man can dream. So when the owner of this GR GT86 was asked his philosophy on the car, he said basically he just really loves the 13B engine and wanted to try it on a newer chassis. Also, this car was built intentionally as a drift car. It's got an angle kit, you know, everything you need to go drifting. Not for any specific like event, no D1 GP or anything like that, just to enjoy on the weekends and uh, have fun probably at Mobara. Boys, where are we gonna get this kind of money? I need to build some stuff like this. It's gonna happen. Anyway, back to the engine. Bridgeport work done by Aria Memia, JP Turbo, Link ECU, and a span V-mount intercooler setup. You can see the intercooler kind of sitting on the top of the engine bay right there. That's what that means. That's a V-mount. That's done to improve cooling efficiency. It moves the big aftermarket intercooler away from the radiator so they can both get plenty of air. That engine bay is sexy. Little wire tuck clean paint job. All the colors are matching together nicely in there. You don't have any like outlandish random parts that are just like pink or something. Although I do kind of wish instead of that gray, they would have gone with like a blue, maybe even a little bit of flake in there kind of to match those decals on the outside of the car. I feel like that would have been hot. Speaking of decals, I absolutely love the subtle livery they went with on the outside of this car. Just that blue just pops so nicely on that yellow, especially in the dark, believe it or not, because this vinyl is reflective. Here are some videos of it driving at Daikoku parking area at night. Daikoku parking area is basically a big parking lot rest area where a lot of the people from Kanagawa, Yokohama, Tokyo area will meet up on the weekends, show off their cars. The Japanese toward the bottom of the livery says Garage Yamaguchi, once again, another workshop where the car was made. I do spy a certain famous drifter from the Kansai area's brand and style, Mr. Naoki Nakamura. And Naoki Nakamura is sponsored by Valino. And we can see some Valinos right here. Those are actually the tire running on his GT86. 225s in the front, 265s in the rear, wrapped around some 18 inch cleave brand wheels. Just above the end style, sticker i'm sure you spotted that vertex logo baby they are running the full gr86 vertex ridge kit very clean work i especially like that rear bumper it's aggressive but still very sleek just flows very well with the body lines and the natural shape of the car i'm really digging this vertex kit that you know vertex never misses lenty tails in the rear and a pretty crazy checkered dry carbon pattern on the roof hood and trunk i like how they didn't just do a carbon hood and brought that carbon from the front all the way to the back of the car moving on to the interior we are greeted by more of that custom dry carbon from the door cards to that custom dash a pair of bride x vertex zeta 3 seats that's good man it's time to go on an adventure today we are with a friend of mine on the hunt for a nissan s15 he specifically wants a varietta spec now this is not just any normal s15 the varietta is actually a hard top convertible version that was made by autech which was once a subsidiary of Nissan that has since been merged into Nismo. Only about a thousand of these cars were made, so they are pretty damn special. And this is actually my first time seeing one in person, and wow, this is a beautiful example. So we actually traveled about an hour and a half outside of Tokyo just to find this car, because as you can see, it's at a pretty damn good price, at least for, you know, recent prices for the S15. Let's check it out. We have these off. Ooh, what do you think? <laughs> it's a grandma spec in good condition. Yeah. Wow. Stock wheels. Oh man, this thing, stock suspension. This thing is absolutely beautiful. A little bit of fading right there. Looks like they resprayed a little bit. A couple of dings, but I mean, God, this thing is beautiful. Varietta. Also, the Varietta has this light on the trunk right there. Make sure we're good. Oh, wow, this interior is pristine. Oh, this is a Nissan like OEM little. Oh, it's a non-turbo. 
Yeah. Looks like we've got aftermarket exhaust. That's so cool. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, I guess you just come over here and put it back and it clips. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you again for 5K subs. I mean, that's crazy. You guys know how hard it is to get subscribers on YouTube, so uh, it feels great. Make sure to follow me on Instagram right here to stay updated with the videos and see you next time.